we are here with Grandmaster Shundipur Chandu, who was the top seed in Paritosh Bhattacharya Memorial, All Bengal, Rapid Chess Tournament. This is a different kind of tournament. Shundipur, you learned from uh, Paritosh Bhattacharya as a kid. So, tell us your memories about it. Well, uh, yes, of course. Uh, there's a lot of memories. Uh, he was uh, my trainer actually from the very beginning. But uh, before uh, sharing my experience, perhaps I should also uh, say some uh, things uh, about him. Uh, because uh, I feel uh, not many uh, who will be watching this video perhaps know enough about, uh, about him. Puritosh uh, Bhattacharya or Shamul Kaku as, I, uh, as we call him. Uh, so to uh, appreciate his achievements, like I think he was uh, a very successful uh, chess trainer. But uh, to understand what kind of achievements he had, because uh, these days uh, in India we have uh, 2700s, so many 2600s. And uh, it is perhaps not easy to appreciate uh, what his contribution, what his success was. To understand this, I think we have to go back some 15, 20 or 25 years uh, to see how Bengal chess was. And uh, there was a time when uh, India had nine grandmasters and uh, Bengal had three. And two of uh, them were uh, students of uh, Shamul Kaku. And uh, of course, uh, not only two grandmasters, but there were several more who uh, who came up and uh, I think there are even more whom he trained we, uh, and uh, they are still uh, a bit young uh, but they will be grandmasters uh, in the coming future so saying about him uh, his personal life uh, I think he was uh, a self-made man in real sense his childhood was very tough his uh, parents had uh, died very early and how he learned chess was very interesting he uh, did not actually have uh, any particular person who taught him the game but he learned it just by watching people play in the street and like uh, Shahid you will know Rocket Dabal what we say basically there's like a tradition in uh, especially in uh, northern parts of Kolkata in North Kolkata where people sit uh, on uh, stone slabs and uh, keep playing chess. And uh, to understand uh, how difficult it was uh, to reach the level uh, where he was from uh, complete scratch. There were no computers, no uh, internet. Books were very difficult to get. And from that he uh, became a very successful trainer. And uh, as a player, uh, I have not seen him so much, of course I have seen him play, but my memories are more uh, of him uh, as a trainer. And uh, he w was in uh, Alekhine Chess Club and uh, Woodrick Chess Academy in uh, Gorky Southern. He trained uh, Nilotpal, Surya, of course uh, myself. And uh, Nilotpal and Surya, I believe that uh, not only in uh, Alekhine or Woodrick, but uh, for some time, they also uh, took personal training uh, from uh, Shamul Kaku. And of course, there were a bunch of uh, players who came up, Grandmasters and International Masters, uh, like Satoshi Roy Choudhury, who was, I think, uh, till 1996 in Goodrich Chess Academy. Before that, Nisha uh, was there, uh, I think, till 1993. And, uh, Saptashi Roy, of course, uh, probably he was also his uh, personal student uh, uh, apart from uh, apart from being in uh, Alekhan Agud, I don't remember exactly. And uh, a bunch more, Adghya Deep, uh, Somak, uh, Mary Ann, and uh, I'm surely missing uh, more names. It was uh, a huge uh, contribution. And uh, of course, like I mentioned, uh, he also uh, trained a lot many more young players who will become uh, very strong in the uh, in the coming future and he was there in uh, uh, the Bindu Chess Academy I believe for the last 12 years so uh, so we'll see who, who are the players uh, and 
as a uh, person i have lot of memories i i uh, knew him uh, even before i played my first tournament even before i joined uh, alekhan chess club i joined alekhan chess club actually very very early but even before that i knew shamal kapoor and uh, i can say that uh, he definitely had a lot of influence on me and uh, some things are not very um, uh, it's not very possible uh, very much possible to for me to say consciously uh, to put out concretely uh, how it was but uh, as a 7 year old or 8 year old until uh, for the next 7 8 years or 10 years or more definitely he had a lot of influence on me and i would uh, like to say that uh, today that uh, we are here uh, some were his students uh, some uh, his friends uh, and uh, some uh, were his colleagues uh, in academies and uh, here the organizers and everyone i believe that many of us we are not here today to keep some uh, to maintain some formality we are here today out of respect and we we loved him we really uh, looking back we actually feel a lot that how how much his contribution was and uh, like so many memories it's not possible to say uh, everything uh, in a short time but just i will uh, recall one uh, one uh, small incident uh, to end with in 1995 uh, i was about 12 i was supposed to join uh, a residential chess academy in sanginagar near hyderabad in fact i also went uh, a couple of times to attend some sessions and uh, they had very big plans so i was like uh, leaving kolkata leaving everything what i had uh, all the attachments i had in kolkata and i was supposed to go there it so happened that uh, just a few days uh, maybe two days before i was supposed to actually leave permanently for sanginagar it uh, the program first got uh, delayed uh, postponed and uh, then it got cancelled altogether but what i am today i'm trying to say is that on the day which was supposed to be the last day when shamal kapoor came to my home and it was a special moment because it would be like uh, i was uh, perhaps his favorite student and uh, i was leaving and i can imagine that uh, a lot of people can get upset over it can get annoyed can feel very sad but what happened was that he came he brought the best books he had he wrote very nice things and he just presented them to me and uh, once again those days books were really important we did not have computers no internet nothing and i think it uh, gives a very uh, very uh, good message that uh, no matter whether you are under my uh, my uh, my uh, training or not the so the only thing which matters is that you become a strong player and that's what i wish and i think this is a wonderful message from a trainer's perspective to his student perhaps i did not really i was only 12 and i did not completely understand the depth of it but it seems uh, to have stayed with me and uh, i just uh, feel really emotional when i think about it thank you so much for speaking about your childhood